hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a nice gold makeup look um i am actually going out today so i'm really excited to share this look with you guys please stay tuned if you want to see how i achieve the previous look okay so i'm starting off with my eyebrows um i decided um, that this may be the last video that I do my eyebrow routine in because it's really kind of redundant. It's the same thing every time. So I'm just going in with this small angular brush and this e.l.f. dip powder in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I really don't go above or below my brow. I typically just fill in the regular shape of my brow, but I do elongate the tail because I don't really have that much of a tail, unfortunately. But I make it work. For the front of my brow, I just brush those little hairs up because I try really hard to get the ombre effect. I mean, I'm not sure if I succeed or not, but I really try to go for that every time I do my brows. Now I'm just concealing my brows just so I can get a nice clean shape. Now I'm just going in with this beauty blender and blending out the concealer around my brows. I really love this beauty blender because it really blends like so great. And now I'm just concealing my eyelids because that's what I do every time I'm going to do eyeshadow. I use my concealer as primer and I really love it. I'm just blending out the concealer on my eyelids now. I'm really starting to get into using primer before I put on my foundation like it makes such a huge difference and I did not even know what I was missing out on but my foundation literally goes on so nicely whenever I use primer I do tend to forget because I'm not used to using it um, but when I remember it makes my foundation look so amazing so now I'm just going in with this Juvia's Place palette and I'm going in in this brown shade and we're just going to blend that into the top, top of the crease. My crease is actually pretty low so I really go above my crease so I can um, make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Now I'm going in with this darker brown shade and blend that almost directly on top of the lighter brown shade. Whenever I do my eyeshadow, I love to build the suspense. So I love to take go from lighter to darker. Um, so that's what I do every time. Even when I'm doing something that really doesn't cause for it, I always use that technique. So now I'm using this different Juvia's Place and I'm going in with that even darker brown and um, blending that over the colors as well. Now that all the colors are blended, I'm going to use this concealer to cut my crease. And um, this is literally one of my favorite techniques because it just is so easy and it makes it look like you really spent a lot of time when honestly you did, but it wasn't that hard. <laughs> Okay, one thing I love to do is while my concealer is drying, I move on to my foundation. So I'm using this black radiance foundation and I'm just going to apply it with this stick that comes with it. Now I'm just using the same beauty blender and blending in my foundation. If you guys are OG members, OG subscribers to my channel, you guys know that I typically use a brush, but I cannot lie, this beauty blender has really been hitting and really been blessing my life. So I've been actually using this more often than I use the brush. I haven't used a brush in quite a while. Now I'm going in with this concealer. I've actually been loving the concealed look lately. Um, 
I just feel like this color is closer to my actual shade. I still love the Elf, Elf concealer, but um, this one is just closer to my shade. I love the Elf because it's more full coverage, but whenever I go into Walmart and try to find it, it it's never really in my shade. So I feel like this is just the perfect concealer shade for me. Now I'm going in with this contour stick, and if I'm being honest, this is not really my favorite. The only reason I'm using it is because I am a college student and I am broke, so I can't really get anything else. I mean, it's nice for the time being, but I definitely would prefer a darker concealer. Um, I'm sorry, a darker contour stick. And now I'm just using this tiny little brush to contour my nose. I've actually been loving this technique of contouring my nose so now I'm going in with a big fluffy brush and just blending that contour out now I'm applying this new powder that I got um, I really like it but it does make my face super duper matte and I mean a lot of powder does that but this one just seems to add that extra oomph. I don't particularly just like that matte look, but um, it'll do for now. So now I'm starting back on the eyes, and I'm going in with that dark, dark shade, and I'm going in my outer eye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.